I've always been interested in driving. When I was in the service, I drove a stick shift truck. After being retired, I got tired of sitting around. It's time for me to get back maneuvering something on the road. I'm back in school again, and I seen the sign out there it said, Truck CDL. I'm in school trying to get me an associate degree. One meeting I quit school years ago, I'm slow learning. But once I learn things, I can pick it up, but I can pick more so up on hands on. The technology is different for me. It's a difference between driving a straight back truck or a stick shift car. And the semi truck amazes me. This is a program that advances knowledge. I'm determined to get an education. Get you a skill and a trade. Live life. Enjoy. You've seen them on the red carpet. You've seen them on the sidelines. You've seen them on the stage. The hottest looks in urban fashion from the biggest name in urban fashion, Van Dykes. Now pick out three, pay for one. Three suits for one. Van Dykes, 10 Mile and Southfield Road. You've seen them at the clubs, you've seen them in the boardroom, you've seen them on the pulpit. Now get them at Van Dyke's. Three suits for one, suits for the workplace, for the club scene to be seen in. Pick out three, pay for one. Van Dyke's, 10 Mile and Southfield Road. Watkins Broadcasting is going worldwide. Now you can watch Detroit's own WHPR on your TV from anywhere in the world. No matter where you are, you can stay in the know with WHPR TV and Roku. You can get your easy to install Roku box from wherever you shop for your entertainment gear. Once your Roku box is connected to your TV and internet, go to the channel store on the home menu of the Roku box. Enter WHPR TV in the search engine and add it to your channels. That's it. That's all you need to get the best in entertainment, news, and talk, no matter where you are. Roku brings all of your favorites to your TV. Netflix, Hulu Plus, Crackle, HBO Go, and now WHPR TV, Detroit Live. There is not another culinary or hospitality academy located in the city of Detroit. There's a lot of people teaching culinary arts, but they're not teaching the business side of it. We're opening up another kitchen for the Cleary Culinary Academy. We're going to bring a Cleary mind to every kitchen in downtown Detroit. But when we talk about Cleary mind, we're talking about a student who can make a definite impact. We want to be a part of all the wonderful food establishments, restaurants, and the food scene in general in downtown Detroit. It's right now about uh, about three about three minutes after the hour, and sitting at the top of the morning to you, Jim Holly, with you on this Saturday morning, and we thank you for being with us. Uh, I'll go right back to the phones, but let me just let you know that uh, that we got some uh, 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 free uh, smoke alarms uh, to make you safer for each and every one of you. Now I want you I want you to get your pencil and paper so I can get this num uh, get this number to you. Uh, they will be installed in April, May, and um, to, to, a couple of times in May, once in April, and it's all free. And I want to make sure, especially to all of my senior citizens, I want to make sure that we get this to you. Uh, and uh, of course, um, uh, and for all of you, uh, there's no, uh, there's no, um, uh, uh, there is no qualification other than if you just want them, you can have them and they will in install them for you. So I'm gonna give that number for you in a little while. So get that phone, get that uh, pencil and paper so I can get this number down for you, 
2727. I'll give it two or three times before I go off the air. But I want to make sure uh, this in, uh, Detroit installs uh, these uh, f uh, smoke uh, uh, free smoke alarms on April the, April the 28th, May the 5th, and May the 12th. And so again, I want to give this uh, number to you, uh, and, uh, so that indeed that you can get these uh, these uh, smoke detectors uh, in your homes, uh, and, um, and and it's all free. And so again, uh, it's our area, area code is 313, but it's 494 2727. 494-2727. I'll make sure that I get it back to you. But please get that. Uh, uh, put the number down so I can get this uh, back to you on April the 7th uh, um, uh, Wayne County community uh, Wayne County um, treasurer will be with us for the whole uh, whole two hours uh, to answer all your questions um, uh, and so this put it on your schedule on your calendar uh, Wayne County uh, treasurer Eric Sabri will be with me on April the 7th April the 7th uh, for the uh, the entire program uh, so that we might be able to answer your questions and, and, and make sure that you get uh, uh, all the information of how uh, the Wayne County uh, Church's Office can help you to keep your home. So we want to make sure you put that in your, in your, in your, uh, in your schedule uh, as well. Right now it's about uh, six minutes after the hour. Caller, you've been patient. How are you this morning? Hey, Reverend Holly. I'm good. How about yourself? Just fine. Thank you for calling. Hey, it's been a long time, man. I've just been real busy. I've tune in every now and again, but just haven't been able to call. Right. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, movie, The Black Panther, mm -hmm. and some of the subtle things that I noticed about the movie. Okay. And one of them was the fact that from the out to the outside world, these people looked poor and destitute, but within, they were very wealthy and had the power to do whatever they wanted to do to anybody they wanted to do it to. Right. But they were very, they they didn't flaunt it. They were just they were just used. And another subtle thing that was there was the fact that Reverend Holly, and this is the difficult part for many of us to really come to terms with. They left them Negroes who wanted to stay out in all that garbage, that white supremacy to play. They left them right out there where they were. They did not go out there begging them to come, please come into Wakanda with us. And mm. please enjoy some of this power that we have. They didn't do that. They let them be. And that's another subtle piece. And it was only after they picked out the ones who were in the outside world who had their nature that they came out and started doing stuff for them. But they did not they did not just grab everybody. They didn't say everybody come on in. They were very selective in who they picked. And these and and, and, and not only that. The, the ones who had a right to this to this throne but were out there angry and wanted to retaliate in the same way that the oppressor was doing to them, they, they had to deal with that one. That's true. They had to deal with all that anger and hate, but they had a higher calling. They knew that if, that if they responded in kind to the Caucasian, that they would actually become the Caucasian in blackface. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting here, Reverend Holly, looking, looking at all these little subtleties about this movie and kind of relating it to us. And I'm here to tell you, man, what you said earlier about the, this thing, this division that's going on in this country. And like Minister Farrakhan said, the white man's world is over. It's done. He done ran his course, man, and he's on a self-destructive path. Either we're going to jump on that, and, uh, uh, or we're going, or we're going to go our own way. Mm. But that's that's basically what I saw in that mm. movie. All those powerful subtleties that said to me, "You doing, you doing it right. You can't beg nobody, man. You can't beg no man. A man don't want to go with you. You got to let him be where he wants to be. Because when the threshold of pain is reached, he gonna change his mind. Mm. Just like the brother in the movie." He changed his mind. He could not, when he realized that he was bringing that same destructive power to Wakanda and tearing up what they had built, then, you know, he started he start seeing the errors of his way. So, you know, while, while it was just a movie, we do have power within ourselves in spite of the way we look to, to outsiders. 
we have to actually use that power and wisdom. So, yeah. I mean, you know, that, that, it's a brilliant movie, man. Yeah, yeah. And like you talked about, one last thing is I can say this, Reverend. You talked about how people selling uh, what we use to us. Now, the system's been coming on here for a year talking about if each black man kick in a $10 bill a month, we can, what we could do. Nobody, all these philosophers and pontificators that come on this program day in and day out, they ain't even pressing that, man. The one thing that would actually solve a lot of problems, i.e. money, a simple little thing nobody wants to talk about. Nobody wants to put forth just a little bit of effort to do what they want the white man to change. He's not going to change. You're going to change. That's what's going to happen. And the ones that's going to change are the ones that's going to enjoy the fruits of it. And them complainers and belly acres and crybabies that come on these shows day in and day out, they're going to be sitting right outside Wakanda crying and belly aching. Mm. Thank you for the call, my friend. Thank you pretty much for the call. Ten minutes after the hour. I, what I want to do um, is, again, I, I, I'm so impressed with this uh, commercial with Wayne County Community College about the drug driver and the, the older guy. Uh, uh, I mean, you just, it's priceless. It's just really priceless. You know, how this guy basically at his age is saying, look, you know, I missed it the, f the first time. Uh, but now, I, I, you know, I, I, I obviously my learning is not as what it used to be. But I can do home when I can do on hand. Uh, when I put put it on, do it on uh, with my hands. Uh, I, my mind correlates with that, and and I can do it. And uh, and this is, uh, is something. It's just priceless uh, how he does that. How this um, this uh, this older person, for the most part. Uh, finds a pathway uh, to success, and then you got another truck driver that basically said, "Look, he's a he's a younger man, but he's saying, look, uh, what I want to do is get in my own uh, my own hauling hauling cars, have my own business, and so let me let me do let me do that." And then of course you got the H I uh, the, um, the air condition, and you got uh, those those kind of skill programs. Uh, that that's that's right there for uh, for those of who want to get into uh, to heating and electrical those kind of things, and then of course uh, the the welding. Uh, this guy says, "Look, uh, I know the bridge is coming, and when it comes, I'm going to be there. I'm gonna be on that bridge welding, welding. This is it's it's one of the most, you know, I I've been uh, doing uh, um, uh, television for a long time." Uh, but this is one of the most priceless uh, pieces uh, that um, uh, you can really have uh, for for us uh, in terms of inspiring us uh, to whether we want to go to, go to truck driving or whether we just really want to go to any other area uh, uh, again. But the whole word, the word, the, the operative word is passion. Passion, whether you want to drive the truck or whether you want to do your own you uh, hauling business or you want to do welding or whether you want to do uh, uh, air condition, uh, uh, electrical and uh, those kind of things. It's, it's, it's really about the passion. And I'm just saying to you, my sister and brother, this is what we got to get our young people to understand is to hook up with that uh, whatever that niche uh, that you have. And we all got it. We all got it. We all got it. If I could, uh, um, uh, producer, just uh, help me with those four pieces. Uh, and uh, I just want to, for some reason or another, I just feel uh, inspirational that I need to s show this. Uh, somebody's looking at it and um, looking at me right now, and I got a feeling that uh, we're going to be able to help somebody uh, this morning. Uh, help me with that, my, my friend. I had an uncle that was a welder. He welded on the trains back in the day. A welder put two pieces of metal together. We blended it in just like it's nothing was there. As it comes together, it's just like a poetry in motion. I want to be a welder. It's a wonderful program. They're investing in your skill. They're investing in you because they feel that you can do it. Women, guys, everybody was just involved working together, hands on. 
the staff here was just just very open to say, okay, you know, you need some help. One of the instructors adjusted me a little bit and got my hands on the right form, and I was off and running. It made me feel like, okay, if they can do it, I know I can do it. And I just kept on pushing, and I did good. And it made me so happy and proud. Working on that bridge from Canada to Michigan, that's where I would be at, guaranteed. I've always been interested in driving. When I was in the service, I drove a stick shift truck. After being retired, I got tired of sitting around. It's time for me to get back maneuvering something on the road. I'm back in school again, and I seen the sign out there that said, Truck CDL. I'm in school trying to get me an associate degree. One meeting I quit school years ago, I'm slow learning. But once I learn things, I can pick it up. But I can pick more so up on hands-on. The technology yeah, is different for me. It's a difference between driving a straight-back truck or a stick-shift car. And the semi-truck amazes me. This is a program that advances knowledge. I'm determined to get an education. Get you a skill and a trade. Live life. Enjoy. I'm involved in the CDL program here, CDL training. A new beginning to be able to start my own business. I had worked prior to doing the CDL training, driving for a waste management company. A friend of mine called me. He said, Sam, I know what we can do. We could get into the car hauling business, but we gotta get our class A license. That was it, this is the calling. You gotta go to the school and take advantage of the program that was being offered. It was hard, but we had instructors that didn't want to see you fail, that wants to help, that wants to push you. They had the hands-on actual experience. And today I'm sitting here, a successful CDL holder. Now success looks brighter. If you feel inside comfortable enough to say, this is what I want, this is where I want to be, this is what I want to do, go for it. Today's energy in all large buildings are controlled through an energy management system. In this program, learning microprocessing and electronics is very valuable. These skills are a global skill. To be able to make a building function, just a phenomenal feeling. I'm faculty and I teach HVAC, furnace, hydronics, refrigeration. There's just some phenomenal people here coming to this college. No one ever turned me down to help promote me in my career and promote young people in our community as well as women. I would implore anyone from the community to take advantage of this educational opportunity. It's still affordable and provides a great lifestyle. You grow a confidence and you grow it from being educated. And once again, it's about 18 minutes after the hour. I, I, again, I just wanted to run them because I feel like somehow, some kind of way from an inspirational standpoint and, and uh, that somebody's listening and somebody's looking this morning that I'm going to be able to uh, really help someone and, and, and give them an idea of something that they might want to, to do. So I want to make sure that I just, uh, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to, to, to do that. and. And, um, and uh, again, my sisters and brothers, I, I cannot tell you how important it is for us to understand uh, what's going on in this city. I, I, I come here every Saturday morning, and I know I sound like a broken record, and I try to do everything I can uh, to, to have a different message, try to have a different vocabulary, a, 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 a different kind of a way of saying this and saying that. Uh, and to try to um, uh, see it in a different way, but yeah, I am what I am, uh, and I and I'm just saying to you is is that I cannot tell you what's going on, uh, that's going on in this city, and and, and that somehow some kind of way, uh, we got to get involved in it, and we got to make sure that we are uh, we're not going to miss this one, that we're not going to miss it, and of course um, uh, there there are people who say what well, Reverend. Uh, we got these uh, trade programs, and they're outside of the city. 
uh, and they um, and they don't uh, they they got this network uh, this family network and they don't let you let us in and and basically uh, uh, whites do what they want to do and and they have their own families and all of this kind of thing and I and I'm sure you're right I'm not going to argue with that but the point is my sister brother that these programs that I'm that I've been running across to you uh, down through the months, uh, you don't have to go outside and you don't have to pay for them. For the most part, much of what I'm talking about is indeed uh, uh, programs that would be paid by Pell Grants uh, at Wayne County Community College. And they got, uh, they got uh, these skills with trades at Wayne County Community College. They got them, they have them. And so I'm just saying to you is you know uh, you can disqualify and uh, with the Quail Pell Grant and, and go on, and, and it doesn't matter how old you are. That's what I love about this uh, this um, these four commercials, especially the the guy that uh, the build the the, the the older guy. It just it just gives me it, it gives me a sense of, of of understanding that it's something for everybody. It's something for everybody. And my sisters and brothers, we just got to stop uh, uh, thinking that uh, we're going to get over through entitlements. It's just not going to, I'm telling you, uh, you, maybe I won't see it in my lifetime, but I'm telling you, all this stuff is going to go away. It's really going to go away. And somehow, some kind of way, you, you keep having these babies, and, 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 and we all we all subject to that. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to... Uh, throw any disparaging words on anybody trying to be judgment, uh, to prejud uh, prejudgmental or anything like that. Uh, but uh, when I hear young ladies say, well, uh, I just have me a baby and, and get some more money from the government. And all I'm saying to you is, indeed, this stuff, I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers, this stuff is going to, this thing is going to change. You can see, you can see uh, America is changing. It's changing. Understand those who have been on the top for so long is going to be on the bottom, and those on the bottom is going to be on the top. The problem is that we're on the bottom, and we're not going to be the ones going on the top all evidently, because basically the people, the, the brown, the people of, of color, of brown, is really the ones that, are, that are this uh, populating this community. And you can see what's going on with immigration. You can see what's happening there. We have, and, and, and understand, we have about 990, by 987 babies a, a day is aborted by black, by fa black, black, uh, by black families. Uh, over 900 babies aborted a day. 900 a day in America. Nine, over 900. You multiply that times 30, uh, times 365 days. Or uh, whatever that number could be. I'm just saying to you, my sisters and brothers. And so you, 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 you have uh, this situation where basically uh, we're uh, uh, whites are fighting so hard, uh, so they won't lose their their status, and they know their numbers are going to dwindle. And so what they're going to try to do is make sure they, like they did in South Africa, make sure they have the the resources. So you can be, you can have less population, but you got the money. You know, you can be like Detroit. We got the we got the population, but we don't have the money. They got the money, and I'm just saying to you, my sisters and brothers. Maybe I'm not making any sense to you. Uh, I hope that somehow, some kind of maybe somebody to come after me will make some sense to you. But I'm just telling you, this thing is changing. It's really changing, and you can see it. When I was, uh, you, you go to the plan, but they got they got this thing, a uh, plan uh, pancake breakfast. And you had Gilbert, uh, Gilbert, Dan Gilbert there, and the mayor there, and you got uh, African American leaders, uh, so-called African American leaders there, and very, very, very little is even talked about in terms of neighborhoods. How are you going to have a first-class city without neighbor, without a first-class neighborhood? You know, and 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 how are we going? How are we going to do it if we don't have access to capital? How are we how are we going to do it? You know, and so I'm just saying to you, as my sisters and brothers, that somehow, some kind of way, I mean, if 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 I if I if I'm, it took me almost four weeks to get 25 people 
uh, to basically oh, just to pay them uh, for 40 hours a week at $10 an hour just to think about what they want to do. You, you know, give you little this little things to do to, for the for the money that that we're going to pay you, but it, but it it takes three weeks to get 25 people to 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 uh, to do nothing, and just think about your career, think about your future, and pay you pay you for two months for that. It takes two three. I mean, just listen to me. I'm t listen to me. And I'm just telling you yeah, yeah, I, I, that I, if I, I tell you of that um, just sacrifice one year uh, about, uh, about 16 programs that work uh, at Wayne County Community College, just sac sacrifice one year and where you can make 40000 plus dollars. So if you're 19 years old coming out of high school, if you're 19 years old uh, and then you basically pick, pick out one of these, uh, these, uh, uh, these uh, subjects here, uh, these careers, and for one, and then you, at at 19 years old, at 20, you you come out at 20, 21, you're making 40 some thousand dollars, a minimum of 30, 40 some thousand dollars. I mean, and, and again, I'm just saying to you, uh, my sisters and brothers, and so it, it, you, if, if, if so, if you want carpentry. If you want masonry, if you want plumbing, pipe fitting, electrical, if you want H H V A A H V A C uh, air condition uh, stuff, uh, computer uh, and, and um, computer designs, uh, uh, those kind of things. Uh, the the, pro the programs are here. They are here. They are here. But this, this sacrifice is this got to be made. It just doesn't happen by our, uh, by uh, uh, just by accident uh, that you bump into success. You don't bump into success. You know, you just don't bump into it. Uh, you 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 have to have preparation in order to have a success. The only place where success comes uh, before um, uh, uh, work uh, is in a dictionary. Everywhere else, work comes before success. And so I'm just saying to you uh, again, without being, uh, you know, about bothering you, and, 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 and sometimes I feel that's what I do. I'm bothering you and, and, and worrying you uh, and uh, over and over again on Saturday mornings uh, to try to get you to understand what's going on in this city. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not reading it. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to these meetings. Uh, there's an old uh, adjet, uh, there's an old saying that says, if you if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. If you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And so, if you're not at the table, that means they're basically discussing you the menu, and basically they're going to order order for you. If you're not at the table, they're going to if you own the menu. But if you're at the table, my sister, you can have some sense of direction, some sense of, of participating. In your own, on your own destiny, and where this city, where this city is really going. Well, I don't know. I, I again, like I said, I, I, I do feel like I'm basically a, a broken record, and 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 and. Um, but for the most part, again, um, uh, like many times in the church, and, and uh, you know, if they don't change, I, I give the same sermon again and again and again. Until they change, I'm not going to change. And I guess until you change, uh, I'm not going to change. But I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers, uh, that in, in, indeed, uh, then we will talk about uh, the, uh, the, uh, or what we know, the opportunities here in the city of Detroit. Invest in bi billions in local and regional developments. Uh, there is un unprecedented growth that's taking place in the city of Detroit. The problem is how do we prepare Detroiters for the workforce? How do work? How do we prepare? How do we prepare them? And, and I'm just saying to you is indeed education and skill uh, is is the way to go, is the way to go. And um, and and so um, um, uh, um, I, I anyway I, I don't I don't know what else to how else to put it, but I just want you to to, to let you know that indeed. 
that um, uh, these programs uh, at Wayne County Community College, uh, these American Sign Language programs, uh, business analyst, uh, anal analytic, uh, computer information systems, uh, dental assistance, early childhood education, electrical, uh, electrical electronics, um, fashion design, food service system management, nursing assistant, uh, phlebotomy technician, water and, and um, environmental technology. Uh, they, 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 those are their one year programs. And then you got the trucking, you got the welding, uh, you got the the um, the energy piece, uh, that uh, the cyber uh, security, all of that, and my sisters and brothers somehow some kind of way, uh, as parents, we got to encourage our young people to, to think, and and that you just got to get off that couch, get out of that that super of 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 just uh, sitting there and just. Uh, smoking weed all day long, all day long. A guy was telling me, I said, well, you know, um, you know, you smell, you, 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 it's in your clothes and everything. Well, you know, uh, I'm not giving up weed. If I, if I don't, if I never get a job, I'm not going to give this. I said, you mean tell me, you telling me that, uh, uh, so what you going to do for, for your habit? It means you're going you're gonna to rob me or somebody else? Well, I got to do what I got to do. And I know this is just a, uh, you know, uh, not the typical young person, but nevertheless, it is how some people think. It is how some people think. And I'm just saying to you is, uh, again, uh, that somehow, some kind of way, we got to, got to change this thing around. And I know we will. And I know you're going to help me to do that. Let me give you this number again uh, for the, uh, the um, smoke, uh, smoke alarms. They're free, free smoke alarms. Again, that number is Eric, uh, Eric 313-494-2727. 494-2727. These are free uh, smoke detector long, uh, alarms. And again, they, can, they will install them for you. You have to do it yourself. They will install them for you, especially to my seniors. I just want you to know that indeed uh, it's... Um, you call that number, they will uh, give you the, they will install them on April the 28th, uh, May the 5th, and May the 12th. April the 28th, May 5th, and May 12th. They will install them for you. Uh, just give them a call, 49494-2727. The area code is still, uh, three, is still uh, three, 313. So I just want to make sure I, uh, that I get that uh, back to you. Again, the telephone number is 868-0342, 868-0351, uh, We start, started out uh, basically talking about what's going on uh, in Washington, uh, talking about the fact that Minister Farrakhan, uh, that many of the people in Congress have been asked by the conservative uh, groups uh, to uh, dis for the, uh, the Congress people to, uh, to denounce, to de denounce of uh, Minister Farrakhan, uh, based on his speech of Save Us Day, uh, they feel like that indeed. Uh, and so, two of the, uh, sir, the two of the many members of the Black Caucus uh, have done just that. Two or three of them. I'm not quite sure who they are. I do know that Minister Farrakhan felt like they were sellouts, and uh, but um, again, they are trying to basically have the Congress people to denounce uh, their relationship with Minister, Minister Farrakhan. What's going on in the White House, my sister and brother, with this um, up and down and this um, in and out and this revolving door uh, that's taking place and, um, uh, and how in the world can you run a, run a, run a country like this? Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's just, I don't know how, the, how he's going to do it. Uh, and um, and for the most part, for all this practical purpose, my sister brothers, uh, we are, we are, we got to understand uh, that uh, uh, that uh, we, we our cause is really lost right now. We uh, everything is about immigration. Everything is about the dreamers. 
uh, and um, and somehow some kind of way they're moving them off the table uh, right now. So if you're moving them off, you know we are we are being uh, being off the table. But what what's what's going on with with, with us? What's going on with education? What's going on uh, with health care? What's going on with the just with the historical black colleges? What's going on with jobs? What's going on prison reform? All of these things that basically that you know and I know uh, uh, have a um, uh, uh, have an affinity with African Americans, and somehow, some kind of way, it just seems like uh, that um, there's nothing. They're not even talking about it anymore. Uh, um, um, that that I've, uh, I'm I'm getting word uh, um, uh, that uh, Ben Carson may be leaving, uh, and um, and uh, I'm not sure if that's true or not. But, but I'm just saying I'm getting the word that he, uh, uh, several others might be leaving, and he may be one of those that's leaving. Uh, and um, and of course again um, uh, that um, uh, for whatever reason, but. Uh, the, the whole idea I'm saying to you is my sister and brother, what, what about us? What, what, what's going on with us? What's happening with us in terms of the agenda for, in Washington? And, uh, and so, are we, uh, and so what, whatever is, is taking place, it has nothing with our agenda, our cause, our, our, uh, the, the things that we basically need to uh, have uh, addressed at this particular point. And it's somehow, some kind of way. I, I just don't know. I don't. I'm, it, it, it's, it's very seldom that you really, uh, in life, uh, feel you have no idea what uh, where America is going. You just don't know. You just don't know. And and, uh, and and again, here's a guy does not. He speaks. He has a rally. Uh, but my sister, brother, that's that's how you not run a country just with a rally. You run a country by speaking to the people, speaking to the people. What what is your plan? What is your plan? For we we all whether we voted for you or not, the point is that we ought to have an idea of what your plans are for this country. And 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 and, and it's it's uh, obviously when you have an opportunity to, as I said earlier this morning, you have an opportunity to be president. Uh, or a pastor, or, or a, a CEO of a company, you have an opportunity, and you just get an opportunity to do it, then you want to do everything you can to be presidential, everything you can to be pastoral, everything you can to be a CEO, uh, a, a director. You just, you, you just go somewhere and learn, just learn, you know? But again, like I said, my sisters and brothers, this is, uh, this is really, really an embarrassment. Just really an embarrassment to, uh, in this in this country about what uh, what's going on uh, with uh, Mr. Trump. It's just an embarrassment. And of course, uh, while we are embarrassed and while we disagree, uh, he's he's still president and he's still uh, making laws and de and deregulating laws and and everything else. Uh, and of course, while we are waiting. Uh, for him to to um, uh, what they call uh, impeachment, and of course my sister and brother, by the time he gets through, uh, uh, if even if they, he does leave, uh, by the time he gets through messing with this country and and messing it up, it's going to take some time to get it back together. That's obvious. Thank you for your call. How are you this morning? Hey, how you doing, Doc Holly? Just fine. Thank you for calling. Uh, a good show you have in the day. Mm -hmm. This is Jacques Anon. I'm listening to you on 91 yeah. in uh, Southwest Detroit. Uh, I wanted to get a couple of young people together, bring them down to you, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, let them work for you. Okay. You know, I I'll talk to you about that uh, okay. a little later on. Okay. Uh, what's, 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 what's going on today with, with, with us is, 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 the, is the educational system. You know this 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 educational curriculum. You know attached to it is an occult, social, psychosomatic, deviant constitution. And what I mean by that is that 
if you look around at everybody who is contributing contributing to this demise of this society came from this educational system. And this must be changed, especially with our children. They must be removed from this system, first and foremost. And the, the, book, the, the first book that they must be educated from is the first five books of the Bible. I must state this. This is the problem. All your mathematics, all your social civics, all of your inheritance is located there. And we, we just, we're so hard-headed. We're so stiff-necked. It's, it's just, it's so sad. And all the things that are, are happening to us are by design. You know, and it's sad to see some of our leaders turn around and say that it's our fault. And it's not. The only degree that it's our fault is that we have separated from the Creator. Mm. That is our fault. Mm. All of this trying to integrate into a system in which he said, be ye separate, mm. is not working. We must adhere to his word. Mm. Be ye separate. And right now, taking place before everyone's eyes, mm. this country is at war. And, and no one seems to... To, to realize this, 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 this country is under attack technically, technologically, socially, medically, and, 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 and another thing that we must be pay attention to, this, this black income that people keep counting, this nine trillion dollars a year that we're spending. Yeah, that's in the book of Deuteronomy. It's called the curse of consumption. Everything you see, you want. I, I got, it's so much more that I want to share with you guys. I'll do it another time. Thank you for taking my call. I love you, man. All right, Keep up thank, the good work. All right, and I thank, I thank you for the call. Uh, it's about uh, 17 minutes to the hour, uh, and uh, as always, I, I appreciate uh, appreciate the call. And so much, obviously, that uh, uh, that uh, that the feelings we have about a lot of things, and it's uh, sometimes um, it's difficult to uh, to put it all in, uh, in 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 sequence. And I know I have the problem myself in trying to to do to do just that. Uh, but I I I also want to remind you, want to say to you, if you have not seen this movie, The Black Panther, uh, I really like for you to really see it. Uh, and um, uh, we took uh, about 100 of our kids from uh, last night at the historic Little Rock Baptist Church um, uh, to and just rented the place out uh, for the uh, for the kids and that we uh, may be able to see it and then have a discussion afterward uh, and, um, and, and see what their impressions are. Uh, so I'm just saying to you that uh, I'd like for you to, um, I really want you to see it. And for those who are my age and, and uh, younger, and uh, you really need to see it. And it's very well done, very well done. Um, um, you, you, you come to realize, again, uh, the, 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 um, the, the, the scientific and the technology and all of that, uh, that basically um, uh, we know that uh, as African Americans, we participated in math mathematics and participated in the pyramids and all of that. Uh, but a lot of this, uh, for our young people, they have they've lost that. It's lost. I mean, you got some people don't even know who Malcolm X and Martin Luther King who they are. So I'm just saying to you is is that. But when you really on this particular movie, it's very well done and it's sort of 
let young people to see how young people their age, for the most part, uh, and in their in in their uh, in their sense of of of, um, of socialization process of a young people, they can under, they can see it, uh, and uh, and and have a sense of of understanding that we are somebody, and that this uh, this country that basically is far advanced uh, than anybody else in the world, and they really try to decide whether or not should they share their share their technology, share their advancement in technology, medicine, everything else, should they share it with the world? And of course, the, the you have um, uh, this um, this piece uh, that basically where you have uh, where one one cousin really wants to do it through love, and the other wants to do it by way of force. It's a world something that's been that's worth, really worth seeing and very well done. And I think this uh, I, re I would really make it, recommend recommend it to you. Sometimes my sister, well, we don't have to really get uh, be so analytical about this and that. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it for what it is. It is entertainment. Um, um, again, like I said, as they had, I think, 20 minutes of just credits, you know, and the and the the characters in the movie. It was so many of them, and of course, uh, I'm glad they they making money because they got a big payroll to uh, to fill. Uh, but uh, it's produced by blacks, directed by blacks, written by blacks, and um, and of course black actors. Uh, and so again, like I said, it's very well done. I was very, I was very glad to to uh, been a long time since I've been to a movie. I've uh, been a long time, and uh, but I really enjoyed it, and certainly enjoyed it with the with the young people uh, at the from the at the church. Uh, but again. I just want, just want to rec just want to recommend that to you. Again, before I go off the air, I just want to again put it on your calendar. If you didn't hear me early this morning, is that on next week uh, on the 21st of the of um, of the of this month, I really need you to be at uh, at Constantine Little Rock next door to the church, 8904 Woodward Avenue, uh, where we're opening up our culinary school. We have an open house, and we have food there and entertainment. Uh, but I just want you to be there and want you to really be part of this. Uh, you've been with me down through the years, and um, and I'm just asking if you could just be part of this grand opening that we have uh, there uh, in the new uh, the northern end uh, and uh, and see the state of the art uh, culinary school that we put together, the the business school that we put together. Uh, and uh, all certified and, and, and everything uh, under the auspices of Cary uh, University. And then also want you to know that indeed we have a school in there that basically uh, Wayne County Community College that deals with uh, GED. And um, we, had the, uh, we had the largest, last year we had the largest uh, GED graduates uh, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the county. And I was so proud of that. I was so proud of that. And we got some young, got some young people and older people who basically want to do well. They want to do well. And Wayne County Community College really does a whole lot to help them to get another chance. And another, and another, and another. And all of us need another chance. And so I just want to make sure. Then on the, oh, April the 13th, I'm asking you to put it on your calendar because we have a job fair, one of the largest in southeastern Michigan, one of the largest. Uh, we've got over over 50-some uh, uh, companies there to, to do hiring. I've got 27 people that already registered for uh, skilled trades uh, and um, uh, scholarships, um, uh, scholarships from, from uh, various colleges, Black colleges will be there. Uh, basically, we have uh, again uh, a mobile unit uh, where you can uh, go on uh, go on there with a uh, with a assistance and 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 find out where the jobs are and how they fit you. Uh, we got a system where we basically uh, fit you with 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 two or three jobs, and then you can go for it. You can go for it. So you want to know where the jobs are? Just come there. Whether there are, are, are 
uh, uh, skilled jobs or whether they are academic. And those of you who want to teach and those of you who want to be involved in the, in the professional uh, and have your resume, bring them. Uh, just bring them. And so it's a, it's a, the folks who've got an expungement, uh, expungement, um, expungement workshops. Uh, we've got resume workshops. We've got, uh, again, friend of the court. Uh, many of you are having problems with the, with the friend of the court. And they basically, uh, how do you navigate your way through the friend of the court? we got uh, lawyers there that specialize in this that can help you uh, at no cost will help you to navigate your way through the front of the court. So we, we try to put, we put out a, res, a, a, re, a survey, and the survey came back, and this is what, uh, what we need and what you needed in order to be able to, uh, to, to help you to be successful. And so I just want to make sure you put it on your calendar, my sisters and brothers. Again, uh, on the 13th of the job fair from 9 to 3, and then on um, uh, on next week on the 21st uh, from 11 to 1, the ribbon cut ribbon cutting will take place on at 1 o'clock, uh, and so we're expecting about 200 and some people there, and I want you to be there uh, as well. We got about uh, 72 uh, young people that 72 people uh, that has registered for culinary school. It's a good way to start. Uh, I, I wanted 100, but if I got 72, that's fine. I'm just as happy as I can be. And all we're trying to do, my son, is just to make a difference. That's all, just to make a difference. That's all, just to make a difference. And that's what we're talking about. So I'm just asking you uh, to help me, be there with me. I mean, just, uh, you know, you, 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 if, it's, if it wasn't for you, there would be no me. And I'm just saying to you, just asking you to celebrate with me, celebrate with me uh, on next week on the 21st uh, from 11 to 1. We've got food there, uh, entertainment, um, it's a walk around and meet people that you haven't seen in, in a long time. Uh, um, uh, we're, again, just want you to know how happy we are that we're able to pull this off. And then also we are, uh, we are planning on uh, putting, uh, we've got in place, uh, for the record, it's, it's two two uh, programs in one building. On this on the south end of the building is education, uh, and um, uh, and our education, and on the north end of the building is recreation. And so we we'll, you, but uh, so I'm just saying to you is, right now we're trying to get the education piece there, uh, so it can support the recreation. And so in the recreation, we got two gyms, and we got a swimming pool, an Olympic swimming pool. We got um, a, 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 a um, hand, hand, hand racquetball court, um, um, all kinds of things. They're trying to put a senior, senior well, wellness uh, center there for seniors. Uh, and so again, just doing everything we can to try to make a difference there in the North End. We'll call it. Thank you for your patience. Hurry this morning. Good morning, Dr. Howard. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Yes, sir. I want to say I'm enjoying your program, mm -hmm. as I always do, and I respect you. And I want to uh, second that emotion about the great programs and work at Wayne County right. Community College, right? Especially under the tutelage of Dr. Ivory. Yeah. There are. So many programs, and now is the time to get involved, and people are getting in, but it ought to be lines around the corner, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to be a truck driver, if you want to be a nurse, if you want to be a dentist or a dental assistant, if wh whatever it may be. You know, we've got the programs. We can get you in. We can get you in right now. Or if you just want to attend regular uh, educational uh, classes, mm -hmm. uh, the college is open. It is the, the best-kept secret. It's not a secret, but that we've got going. And we yeah. really need to take advantage. The job, careers, is not going to come to our front porch. 
or our backyard or our basement. We got to get up and stand up and do it for ourselves and for our family and for our community, and it is available. Yeah. You have Cleary working with you. We got all kinds of restaurants that have opened and more that are coming. Now is the time, y'all. Right. Right. Thank you for that, Minister. Appreciate you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Dr. Howard. No. You be blessed, my brother. And and you likewise. Uh, good morning. How are you this morning? Hey, good morning, Reverend Howard. Yeah. How are you? Just fine. Thank you. Um, I know you're talking about what centers right now. Um, I have a, a quick concern. Okay. Well, I want to get you in the know um, with the recreation center that's um, dear to my heart that's you know, um, I've been raised over in that area. Okay. Um, the Johnson's Recreation Center. Okay. Um, they they uh they said if if, if something don't come up with it, um, they're gonna knock it down. Right. And I feel that is very unfair. Okay. Um, for the the community over there. Yeah. Well, um, because, you know, when you have a rec center that basically bonds the whole community. Right. And um, if they tear it down, that's just going to make it worse okay. over there. So um, I was hoping if I could get together with you um, to come up with a, a proposal mm -hmm. or something, you know, if you can help me. Why don't you just, why don't you, um, why don't you just give me a call on Tuesday? I, I'm out on Monday, but give me a call on Tuesday. And then, okay, hold uh, on. Let me, let me, uh, I'll give it to you. I give it to you off the air, eight seven two twenty nine hundred. It's not difficult, eight seven two twenty nine hundred. Uh, and so just to call and ask for Deborah on Tuesday, and this will, uh, and I will return your call if I'm not there. I, normally I will be there, and I return your call, and then we can, you know, tell me what you want me to do. Again, I thank you so much, uh, uh, Barry Kelly, uh, Attorney Kelly, is coming up next. Keller is coming up next. You don't want to miss that. It's always great good interviews and good deaths, but uh, more than anything else, my sister brother, he is, um, he is a wonderful, league, has a wonderful legal mind and, um, and a heart to go with it. Uh, thank you so much for being with me these uh, two hours, and if the Lord says the same, I'll be with you again a week from today. Don't forget, April the 7th, uh, the Wayne County Treasurer will be with me on uh, uh, the, whole, uh, the whole program to answer all your questions. So put that down April the 27th uh, from 9 to 8, to 9 to uh, 10, 8 to 10, I forget, I'm sorry, 8 to 10. Um, uh, but anyway, thank you so much. Um, have a wonderful weekend.